The story of my life. I, Candido Morales Fernandez, a secondary school master teacher one at Kutad National High School. I am now an institution in the educational system, considering my commitment and dedication in the field of teaching. I am the third to the eldest in the family of seven. My parents, Ambrosia G. Fernandez and Rosalina B. Morales, both farmer, until now, feel blessed for having a son like me. I had an amazing married life that everybody looked upon me and exclaimed how I could handle such a different kind of life. I am married to Myrna C. Garcia, a licensed midwife, but because of how cerebrum tumor diagnosed in 1990, she is now totally blind. Nevertheless, my wife is a very strong woman. Blindness is neither an obstacle nor a reason to cease from doing her responsibility as a mother to our three children and an ideal wife to me. My eldest son, Joshua Nathan, a nursing graduate, only son whom I can depend on and hope to live a normal life. Unlike Philip Chan, a 25 years old autistic, and Sarah May, 21 years old, who has a mental disability. A man with a big heart, despite of my own personal shortcomings. I am still willing to help, even if it is not asked for. I am a person whom anybody can turn to in times of crisis. The whole family, my brothers and sisters in particular, depend so much on me for survival, considered this a blessing. How was I able to cope up is what is instilled in my mind, that God is with me all the time. I strongly believe with the saying, do your best and God will do the rest. Acceptance and realization is the way to make complicated things smoother and a difficult one to easy. In my solitude, I was tempted to ask, what have I done wrong? Did I do any harm? I often look back and thought of committing a sin and being punished. But neither did I give up, nor neglect my duties as an educator. The more I become aggressive and eager to teach my students, looking for innovations to suffice the needs of the entire TLE department and the school system itself. Thus, resulting to a number of awards given to me at, at the Gutad National High School, not only in the cluster and division level, but as far in the regional level. In my 23 years in the service, I have proven myself worthy as a teacher. I had received Golden Harvest Award in 2001 to 2002, Scroll of Honor Awards in 2003 to 2004, Hall of Fame Award and Most Outstanding Secondary School Teacher in 2004 to 2005, Best Implementer in Guilherme Paralan in 2010 to 2011, and a Sustainability Award 2013-2014. My leadership had helped a lot in the progress of the TLE department. I acted as a Cluster 3 Chairman in Agriculture from 2008 to 2013 and remained as the TLE Chairman in Agriculture in our school. For three consecutive, consecutive years, from 2011 to 2014, I was awarded the Model TLE Agriculture School. With all the achievements and accomplished accomplishments I had attained, I do expect that I may inspire those in the educational field 
and that this may serve as an exemplar to others and follow my footsteps. Teaching is not the sole ingredients, the sumptuous meal in my life. I added the best seasoning that will suit God's taste, and this is serving Him in the Eucharistic ministry and distribution of Holy Communion during the Mass, and never tired of giving Holy Communion to the sick and the aged. My routine revolves around home, school, church. As an ordinary creature of God, I didn't expect to receive a special blessing. That is a gift of healing. Unbelievable and it's very hard to convince people to believe, but it really happened. In 1997, I lost my breath for 30 minutes. Everybody panicked. My family Especially Joshua Nathan, my son, who understand medical circumstances, had witnessed the strange scenario and told me of what had happened. After which, I was able of healing the sick. I had experienced and still experiencing a lot of trials and challenges. I honestly feel tired of dealing 